Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I'll be getting some more videos coming out pretty soon. Um, right now I'm working on this S4 that we got in that phone lot that I couldn't get the power on. I pulled it all apart and I can see it has major water damage on it. So I'm going to assume that it is probably not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up and see if I can get it turned on. If not... Um, this will be a drop test phone. Those are going to be coming up pretty soon as well. So, just want to give a little update on this phone. I know it's going to be a really short video, but um, I'll go ahead and edit in here if uh, I get it to turn on or not. So, um, stay tuned for the next piece. Okay, so I've got it all back together. And um, it still shows no power when charging or anything when plugging in. Maybe if I can get it plugged in. There we go. Uh, there's still no sign of life. The LED isn't coming on. Um, there's nothing. So I'm probably just going to throw this in the uh, drop test bin. It doesn't have a back cover either. Uh, my charger's broke. That's fantastic. Cheap charger. Look at that cheap ass thing. So, um... Throw that in the trash too. Um, there's the S4. We're going to do an update of the uh, drop test phone that I'm doing just because it's going to be coming up pretty soon. We have this uh, Octel. Um, it does work sometimes, but the hinge cable um, doesn't work all the time. Sometimes the screen just turns off. We have this Microsoft phone, which has a cracked LED, but not a cracked glass. Pretty good shape too, so that'd be a good drop test. Um, the LG NV or the uh, LG NV Touch that we use the uh, parts off of to fix mine. We have a uh, LG VN 150, I think it is. Yep, uh, this one's in really bad shape. I already have two um, that are in really good shape that I got in an eBay lot. So um, we also got a Samsung R800. I've taken parts off of this one and fixed my other ones. This one's in pretty bad shape. Um, can't get the screen and LCD apart, so. Um, here's a Samsung M300. Now, this phone was working just fine. Um, when I went to do my Sprint startups, um, the screen went white. And I got pissed off and threw it out the wall. And it cracked here. And then it also cracked the, um, this inner hinge piece right here. And also, uh, that button fell out, so. We're going to throw it in the drop test phone. Um, I don't know why it quit working. I do have a video that I might post of when it uh, first started. Or when I, I tried to figure out what was wrong with it. I think it was before I threw it. So. I'm going to crack the rest of the way. Uh, we also have this Samsung T309 if I remember right. Um, this one's a locked one. But um, I put it back together so we can drop test it. And we also have uh, this. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop test this one or not, or put it in the giveaway box. But we're going to be doing a giveaway after that. I think these drop tests um, will have a giveaway coming up. Also, I have been looking for a screen for the BlackBerry Priv that we got on the eBay lot. I was able to get it to turn on, and um, I was able to go through the menu and stuff like that. Only like half the screen works. But uh, it does work. I'm just going to buy an LCD assembly and then a rear cover assembly. And then we're going to rebuild this phone. Because I think it would be kind of cool to have. I haven't had a um, BlackBerry that runs on Android. I have put my SIM card in here. And I did check the IMEI number. And it seems to be all clean. So we're going to go ahead and do a rebuild of this phone. Because it would be pretty cool. And then I think that's about it. For now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.